possible. To be fair to Andy, uh, after his Eurovision disaster, he didn't go straight back to emptying bins. Oh, no, no, no. It was a bank holiday. He was off till Tuesday. <laughs> uh, good news for him. Uh, now, Terry. Terry Rogan, did you hear me? He was so disgusted, he hinted it might be his last ever Eurovision. It, no! <laughs> Irreplaceable, ladies and gentlemen, irreplaceable. Where else will the BBC find an Irishman who's happy to spend a Saturday night listening to a bunch of weirdos singing off key? <laughs> hey. They may hate us in Europe, but on tonight's show, it's all about Australia. Yes, housewife and minister Dave Edna Everidge is here. Yes, she is. It's either Dame Edna Everidge or it could be Elton John. I'm not sure. <laughs> now, Dame Edna is totally outrageous and over the years has shocked millions of people, not least her gynaecologist. <laughs> she's, uh, she's met everyone. Oh, there she's Prince Charles. You see, Charles thinking to himself, hmm, you must be Camilla's more attractive younger sister. <laughs> Fancy some of my lumpy organic porridge? Mmm. <laughs> the original. <laughs> also on the show tonight is survival expert Ray Mears. <laughs> there he is, the lovely Ray. Now... You see, you look at Ray there and you think, yeah, jungles and deserts, he's fine, he knows what he's doing. Sofa, not so good. <laughs> Use the, the large flat bit for the sitting, Ray. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's an arm. It is a survival expert. He lives off nothing but berries and leaves, you know. But you do look at him and you think... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of calories in tree sap, I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, out in the wild, Ray frequently advises you to carry your litter and excrement away with you. I mean, what would that be like? Being lumbered with a big shit you can't get rid of. <laughs> Grab your gladdies and say good day to the one and only Dame Edna Everidge! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Sorry to be waiting so long. Oh. Oh. Close, so close. <laughs> oh, sorry to keep you waiting. No, no, it was lovely. I love just being on this beautiful show with you, and I'm wearing, of course, my retro Scylla black look. <laughs> this is my it's back beautiful. Back the 60s. This is an original by Mary Quant. Really? It is. It was a wonderful designer of the 60s, and you know, I've had this since that far-off age, and I've never had any alterations on it. It's never been changed. <laughs> My quant is the same size as it was in the 60s. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> that's more than you can say of Scylla Black. <laughs> Now, we knew you were interested in fashion, so um, we did ask our audience to dress up. <laughs> I can only apologise. Right. I adore that. It's the shortest raincoat I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> They're lovely. Look at this little girl in the front row with a rose. Hello. What's your name? Hello, Debbie. That's pretty. That's short for Deborah, isn't it? It is. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely. And that gorgeous little woman, too. Where, where are you from? I'm, I'm from Ghana. From Ghana? Yeah. I've never been there, and I don't think I'm ever going to go. <laughs> 
<laughs> what is your name? Is it... Sharon. Sharon? Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to think, Sharon, of a word to describe what you're wearing. <laughs> Affordable. That's <laughs> Because people have made such an effort, they made that. An effort? We actually put out a red carpet for people coming in. Heavens. Uh, so we've got, we've got some film of people in our audience coming down the red carpet. Like, Ooh! Now, let's stop there. Let's stop there. Now, if it, they have dressed up. <laughs> well, what did they used to wear? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there they are in the audience. Hi. Hi. Are they... Are they partners, do you think? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Yes. yes. And why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, now stop there. Look at that. Wait a minute. They're the poshest people I've ever been to my show. <laughs> Are they really here? It's lovely to see a father and his daughter. <laughs> Oh, oh, look, it is. Ah. It's Debbie and her friend. And her, it is. And her friends. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Debbie. Look. You must be impressed by this, Debbie. I couldn't help but look. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lively red carpet walk, wasn't it? <laughs> well, when she stops, she still moves. <laughs> It's good, though. No, it's very good. But it's very sad we have to make a big thing about people who've gone to a little bit of trouble, like Debbie there. <laughs> Poor little inarticulate Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, I, I must talk to you, because obviously your career, you've had this extraordinary career, and more recently you've gone into acting. Well, yes, I am fundamentally an actress. And I've played Lady Macbeth, I've played so many roles. And fortunately, it took the Americans to recognize my abilities in that area. Never in England was I given parts. No. I, I'm better than Judy Dench. Muck, muck. <laughs> and I'm afraid, taller. <laughs> because we loved you at Ali McBeal in, in America. Oh, Ali McBeal, in of Ali course. McBeal. Uh, we've got a picture of you. There you are with uh, Look, Ka what's it? Callista Flockhart. <laughs> There's Callista. Now, of course, Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Mrs. Uh, whatever it is. Indiana. <laughs> Indiana Jones. <laughs> yes, I believe we have a picture of her with uh, Indiana Jones. Oh, yes. Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is the name of the film. It is. is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you meet Harrison? Of course, I introduced Harrison. Harrison, you know, is a carpenter. By trade, Harrison Ford is a carpenter. He's a brilliant worker of wood. And uh, he... <laughs> he is. Yes. And... I don't know why that's amusing, but it is. <laughs> And he was doing some bookshelves for me. <laughs> and little Callista Flockhart. It's a funny name too, isn't it? <laughs> she popped in for a cup of tea and I introduced them and magic occurred. I've done that to so many people. I've made mistakes. I introduced Nicole Kidman to Tom Cruise. That wasn't such a good idea. I mean, yeah, she said she needed a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> He had to stand on a chair. <laughs> There's Tom and his new... Well, <laughs> it's, honestly, looks like he's doing the school run, doesn't it? And look, he's wearing your jacket, too. <laughs> is. Isn't he? He's wearing something it squeaky. Obviously, it obviously comes in child sizes as well. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and obviously, th there are big stars in Hollywood that you must know. I mean, people like Mel Gibson, you must have... Mel, been. I helped him very early on. Little, He's a diminutive person, too. And um, I had a school, a little drama school at my home. 
when I was just a housewife before megastardom smiled on me. Yes. And uh, it was called The Dead. D-E-A-D. -E it was the Dame Edna Academy of Drama. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hear a little knock on the kitchen door and it was Mr. and Mrs. Gibson with little Mel saying, could I help him teach him some poems? And, uh, and then, of course, Mr. and Mrs. Minogue brought little Kylie along soon after she was born. <laughs> <laughs> I used to babysit little Kylie. As a matter of fact, I breastfed her once. <laughs> I did. No, I did. I did. I'm, and my gynaecologist told me that I'm still capable of breastfeeding. Isn't that incredible? That is incredible. No, that's useful to know. In case we might get stuck in a lift or something like that. <laughs> Speaking of that, don't you have a celebrity gynaecologist? No, no, no. I have a, just a very nice, he's a lovely old fellow. He's the father of Julio Iglesias. Ah, my mistake, my mistake. He yes. is, because I had some years ago little Julio on a show I did in this very studio. And I asked him a question he'd never been asked. I said, what does your father do? And he said, he, he looked very embarrassed. He said, my father is a Spanish gynecologist. Isn't that wonderful? Marvelous. And so I, I said, well, I might employ him. I'd like to have someone in my entourage. <laughs> because I always like to have a little exploratory before I do a show. <laughs> My father is very, very old. His hands are shaking. I said, that's not always a drawback. <laughs> it is. Oh, it's magic. <laughs>